Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another HBA price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the HBA chart which at the time of this recording is holding above the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart on the 1 hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up. We are also holding above a key area of support at around the 0.0639 dollar mark which is now acting as support. We had also seen a breakout out of this descending channel that we had been trading within which gave us a breakout to the upper side in a move that gave us a massive run up to the upper side giving us a peak at around the 0.0689 dollar mark. We have also continued to obey the ADOTF structures where you can see that after bottoming out in the formation of these larger ADOTF count 2 within this yellow target area down here, we started the massive run up to the upper side in the formation of a larger ADOTF count 3. And because of its impulsive nature, we have been seeing uh, fractal waves within the formation of these higher ADO to have count 3 and this is what is going to give me the short term scenarios. And before I get further into the technical analysis, first give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to continue with the analysis basing it on these micro ADO to have count within the formation of that higher ADO to have count 3 where you can see that we have now picked in the formation of that first wave to the upper side. We also saw a corrective structure to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 in a move that managed to get into the minimum retracement area which is highlighted here in blue and after fully maximizing our target area we started this massive run up to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 to the upper side and sketching out a target area in the formation of that wave 3 using a trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that now gives me a target area to the upper side in the formation of that wave 3 at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.08 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'll be expecting HBAR to do here on the short term scenarios and since we are in the formation of this wave 3 to the upper side which is also an impulsive wave I'm also expecting to see a 5 wave structure in formation having the wave 5 fully maximizing our target areas and also giving us the high for this wave 3 to the upper side and it is this micro ADO to have count within the formation of this wave 3 that is going to give me the short term scenarios and you can see that down here after seeing our low in the formation of this wave 2 within this blue target area we saw this massive run up and giving you a measure from that low down there to that high that we made you can see that the market was up by more than 20.83% which is a very nice bounce to the upper side and I believe that there are high chances that this whole structure that we have right here we can term it as a first wave to the upper side which is a fractal wave within the formation of this wave 3 of this additive structure right here in blue and whatever we are seeing at the moment is a bit of a breakdown to the lower side in the formation of that wave 2 before we can continue gearing up in a wave 3 then expect a wave 4 and then the wave 5 to fully maximize our target areas and that is what I'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and if this is the case and the breakdown continues we also need to have target areas to the lower side in the formation of this wave 2 using the Fibonacci's connecting them from the low of the first wave down there to the high of that wave 1 and that gives me a target area in the formation of this wave 2 between the fib level 0 0.5 and the fib level 0 0.7 uh, the fib level 0 0.618 which is a target area that lies between the 0 0.063 dollar mark and the 0 0.0615 dollar mark and it is within this red target area now that I'm expecting to see the low for this second wave and once we fully maximize our target area then we can expect our massive bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and I think this will be another perfect entry to get back into HBAR and that is not financial advice so that you can be able to ride that massive bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and in case the breakdown continues then there are key areas that we need to continue watching like the 20 day MA which at the time of this recording is giving us support and also the 0.0639 dollar mark which is also acting as support because there are high chances that we are first going to lose those key areas of supports before we can get into our red target area 
fully maximize the target area before we can continue gearing up in the formation of these wave 3 to the upper side and that is what I'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and those are my breakdown targets between the 0.06 dollar mark and the 0.061 five dollar mark in the formation of that with two and getting back to the four hour chart to take a look at the indicators here on the rsi we are trading at around the 60 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support lower prices in case the breakdown continues also taking a look at the macd we have been able to print a bullish cross though we are seeing a bit of a decrease in the buying momentum suggesting that soon we might be able to print a bearish cross to fully support breakdowns in the formation of that with two so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll be keeping you updated